In a recent attack where Ukraine used GMLRS rocket against the pontoon bridge just next to Antonovsky bridge seemed a bit underwhelming. Six rockets could be seen hitting, making splashes in the water on each hit. So did Ukraine just miss with all six missiles? With Russia also claiming that 12 out of 18 GMLRS rockets got intercepted and the other six possibly missed. Have Russia finally found a way to protect against GMLRS rockets? Just around one week ago, Ukraine launched an attack, setting a trap waiting for Russia's supply chain to cross, hitting with at least two rockets right on target. So what changed this time? Looking at the video, several interesting observations can be made. Firstly is the precision. All six rockets hit within a few meters of each other showcasing the insane precision this system and rocket possesses. The GMLRS rocket used looks like the M31A1, which is the high explosive version with around 90 kg in the warhead. While each impact makes splashes in the water, the size varies quite a lot, from too much higher to other lower, indicating the rocket hits something more or less at each impact as the rocket either can go deeper into the river or hit something before or just after hitting the water. What can be drawn from looking at satellite imagery and videos of previous attacks is that almost every time the GMLRS rocket seems to be fired at the same position on Antonovsky bridge and also the pontoon bridge which is just next to the targeted position on Antonovsky bridge. While the previous attack was just around one week ago, Russia that usually tried to repair and replace quickly could have possibly not had the time, resources or strategy to do so, which could have left a half sunken barge as seen from previous attack. This could explain the attack we see as basically all rocket hitting the water filled barge at different points creating different kind of splashes, depending on how much of the sunken barge is getting hit. But why does Ukraine keep hitting the same cross point over and over? With Antonovsk bridge, the reason becomes to weaken the bridge structural integrity by destroying enough rebars within the bridge so that they could not hold sufficient load even after repairs, making the bridge only suitable for walking over, if even that. For the pontoon bridge, the most plausible explanation is the GPS coordinate precision added with the precision of the system. As the coordinates of hitting Antonovsky bridge is well known and well defined for the position that have been repeatedly targeted, by moving it just to the side to start hitting the pontoon bridge becomes easier. Trying to send back or determine exact coordinates to hit the pontoon bridge and not too much on Antonovsky bridge or the water at different section of the bridge is tricky, but possible, but the margin for error is fairly slim. So Ukraine takes the already tested coordinates to ensure Russia don't have a cross point over. The only benefit to hit other section would be to dismantle the pontoon bridge in a larger scale. Lastly notable thing with the video is the lack of surface to air missiles. As Russia claimed 12 out of 18 rockets got shot down, the 6 hitting in rapid succession is most likely from one part of HIMARS, but no sound or visual evidence of a SAM system could be heard or seen in the video, indicating the SAM system missed the missile coming in or had no option to respond still strongly indicating Russia's SAM system is more than struggling with GMLRS rocket. That's all I had for this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.